Hi, it's time to look at some ways to work creatively with Rex files in Record. Record allows you to work with Rex files in new ways. But first, a little recap if you're not familiar with Rex files at all. A Rex file is typically a loop that's been cut up into its rhythmical components using Recycle. Here's a drum loop that we've cut up so that each drum hit gets its own slice. When we save a Rex file, these slices can be played back at any tempo or any pitch. Reason users load Rex files into the awesome Dr. Rex loop player. With Dr. Rex, you can play back the loops at different tempi or at different pitches. You can also move the slices around to create fills and variations. Using Record, you can use Rex files in another way. Here, you load the Rex files as audio files into your arrangement. This is very convenient when working with loop libraries. Say that you have a Rex file with a drum beat going. Now, you want to add another Rex file with the same beat, but with a fill at the end. Just load it onto the same track, and there you go. This may not look so special, but it's actually easier than doing it with the Dr. Rex player. Here's a nice trick to remember. When you import a Rex file, Record will adjust it to match the current tempo in the good old Rex fashion, which means adjusting the slice positions to match the new tempo, right? If you'd rather use Record's own totally awesome sounding time stretch to adjust the tempo, do like this. In the browser, we see that this Rex file's original tempo is 140 BPM. Our song is in 120. So before we import the file, we change our song tempo to 140. Now, we import the file and it will end up on the selected track where the play cursor is. Now, set the tempo back to 120 and... Oh. Oh. Whoa. The words simply can't describe how good it sounds. Who writes this stuff? Before we end, here's another cool Rex trick in Record. You can use this trick as a way to create fills and variations as in our first example, but we'll look at how to work up some happy accidents instead. First, we create an audio track, and then import a Rex file. Here's a basic beatbox loop that's in the Reason sound bank. If you use Record without Reason, you can still do this, but you'd have to find some Rex files elsewhere. Don't worry, there are tons and tons of them. Now, double-click the clip, and set record into comp mode, like this. Now, let's just go crazy and load a random bunch of loops. A house drum loop. Some guitar, perhaps. And, um, some organ, maybe. Okay, with all the samples loaded in the comping editor, it's time to have some fun. Select the razor tool and let the swipe fest begin. Each section you swipe will play, since Record is treating your heap of loops as a single comp. Let's try some of this. And here's the guitar. And don't forget that organ. See? A very quick and actually fun way to get some pretty cool and semi-random noises going. Loop mangling in Record. Funky as that. 